Assalamu alaikum. The topic of today's video is adrenal insufficiency, which is an inability of an adrenal gland to generate enough hormones for the body needs. It can be acute or chronic, primary, secondary, or tertiary. The primary adrenal insufficiency is when adrenal cortex get progressively damaged, so there is decreased gland function as there is decreased production of the cortisol and aldosterone. This present with the symptoms of aldosterone deficiency, which includes hyperkalemia, hyponatremia, hypovolemia, and metabolic acidosis. Hyperkalemia is basically present as craving for salty food, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and dizziness. Whereas cortisol deficiency present when there is low blood glucose and type of stress. Moreover, the pituitary gland become overactive, and it increases the production of MSH that is melanocyte stimulating hormone which increase melanin synthesis and that cause skin and mucosal hyperpigmentation. This hyperpigmentation is primarily seen in the primary adrenal insufficiency. It's not seen in secondary and tertiary adrenal insufficiency. Secondary adrenal insufficiency is due to decreased pituitary ACTH secretion and tertiary adrenal insufficiency is due to decrease hypothalamic CRH secretion. There is no hyperkalemia and no hyperpigmentation in primary and oh sorry in secondary and tertiary. It is only seen in primary adrenal insufficiency. Tertiary is basically usually occur from the treatment and when there is abrupt cessation of chronic glucocorticoid therapy. Addison disease is a chronic primary adrenal insufficiency that is caused by adrenal atrophy or destruction. In resource-rich countries such as US, UK, it is commonly seen due to autoimmune adrenalitis, whereas, whereas in resource-limited countries such as developing countries like Pakistan, it is most commonly seen due to TB. There is another cause that is pantostatic carcinoma spread to adrenal cortex from somewhere else that can also cause the primary adrenal insufficiency. Acute adrenal insufficiency is known as Addisonian crisis, which is often precipitated by acute stress that is increased glucocorticoid requirements, for example, in infection with pre existing adrenal insufficiency or the patient who is on glucocorticoid therapy. It may present with acute abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, altered mental status, and shock. The diagnosis of adrenal insufficiency can be done by checking the cortisol levels. The low level of cortisol indicates there is adrenal insufficiency and determine the cause, the ACTH stimulation test is done. After measuring the random serum ACTH, if ACTH levels increase, the cause is primary adrenal insufficiency. Because there is low cortisol, so there is no negative feedback, so there is going to be increased amount of ACTH. Whereas if the ACTH is normal or inappropriately decreased, then there is tertiary or secondary adrenal insufficiency there is only going to be decreased cortisol as well as ACTH or ACTH can be normal as well. So this was all about adrenal insufficiency. Thank you for listening.